So you're running through the lovely world of Valheim, harassing the wildlife for food, cooking your food, and thinking, what am I going to do now? I don't even know where I'm going with this. Let's just build something awesome. Today we are building a cabin and we are right next to where my stone circle is, which is a lovely little place. And I've already put down the foundation. That is 10 by 14 meters and they're raised up on one meter poles. The first thing we're going to do is add another two meter beam at the front and then grab our 45 degree angles and start from where they end. And we're going to put three on top of each other. So technically there'll be two and a half sticking out of the ground. Like so. Then you can put a cross perfectly on top. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make an additional one behind it. So we're going to have to do a little bit on eyesight here to get them to even out. As long as they're pretty much even at the top, that's actually fine. So I'm trying to just do them about half segment from the other one. I think that's about right. If they're not completely the same at the top, it's not the end of the world because we're not snapping anything to this one. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it. And then we're going to put a cross across them. It should align up with the other cross. Now we should start putting some roofs on. This takes a little while and it does take quite a bit of wood, but I have been trying to do this build for solely of regular wood so that it's beginner friendly as well. The top ceiling is not snapped onto the other roof tiles and that is okay because we're not really resting anything on them. And then we have to do this at the back as well. The first layer can just follow the roof and then we have to make a little bit of, well, cheekiness to get it to line up again. We're doing it the opposite way on this side that we did at the front. When you put this extra layer on, all you need to do is climb up and put another cross up top, just so it doesn't look like things are sticking out of the roof. It can be a little bit annoying to get it into place, but try to line it up with the big cross again. All right, we have a full roof. The next thing we're going to do is make a skylight. It's more of a window than a skylight, but I think it will go pretty well here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line the window at the bottom and then I'm going to get my upside down triangle thingy. This is again the 45 degree inverted so that it actually lines up with the roof. We're going to put those on the outside, put some beams on so it looks nice. And then at the top we're going to put on some crosses. Ta-ta! And then we're going to use the rooftops to finish it off. To seal the little holes at the back, I'll use the smaller diagonals. A little bit annoying to get them to sit. There we go. You can now easily have a fire underneath without it getting wet. Continuing on to the inside, we're taking our half wood walls and taking them all the way around. You can of course choose to put your floor on the level that the foundation is built, but I like having a really nice ceiling height, so I'm actually going to make the floor on the ground. Let's take it all the way around to about here, and then we're just going to check that everything is level before we put some floor tiles down. Don't want that ground sticking out of the floor, do we? Alright, I'm going to continue to the front as well, and then we're putting them outward here so that the nice side is still on the inside and then we are going to line this up and make a double wall. Uh, you have to be a little finicky with this so they line up but if they don't line up perfectly not the end of the world it will just look a little bit strange when you're trying to open a door through them and then the other way around the wall goes so that it's nice both on the outside and on the inside and then of course we have to put some here as well. Oh, Too fast there. And then on this side. There we go. And you now have a wall that's nice on both sides. Continuing on, we need to make a door frame. You can of course just smack your door in there and not really think about it, but I like making a nice frame around it. I'm going to put a staircase on both sides of the door. Oh. So we can get in and out. And then we're going to continue maybe no, let's do the bigger door. Yeah, that looks nicer. 
So at the front there's not going to be any windows, but we are going to make a little scoop window just above the door. So again, don't forget to put both beams for both levels of the wall, both the front and the back. And then over here we'll have a little air vent window. Perfect. One on here as well. Lovely. See? Double wall always works. So I'll put one up here, and then at the very top there will be an air vent in case there's any smoke from the fires. I'm then going to pull them outward so it's all nice and stable. And then we'll start building some walls. We're using just a regular wall at the start, and then we'll use some diagonal ones, probably the regular one, not the inverted one, just to fill out the gaps along the sides. These will meet the roof, so don't worry about that. There won't be any little air vents on the sides, and I'm going to leave that top open for ventilation. All right, now we need to do the wall at the back, and we also need to finish the floor. First of all, we need to do the wall on the inside. I don't really like these bits where you can see the the wood at the back, so I want them to look nice on both sides, just like the wall below it. So we're going to do exactly the same on this side, and we'll have a nice and straight wall here as well. Turning over to the back side, this is going to be very simple. This doesn't have a double wall. You can do a double wall if you want to, but behind this house there isn't really anything and I'm not really going to be running around behind it, so I don't really mind how the back looks. But we're going to make some slit windows, which I think will look really, really nice. Just need to figure out which angle. No, that's not it. Regular one, there we go. And then a fill down here as well. Just need to make it actually fit. Oh, I can't get it to snap. There we go. Lovely. And then a half wall at the bottom. So then we can fill in the rest of this window. I really like narrow windows. I don't know why. I think they're very stylish. So we're going to do the same on this side with a 45 wall. Just get it to snap. There we go. And then another one below it. I need to remove one of these little ones again. Come, there we go. Get it to snap below it. Come on. Oh no, I missed. Alright, let's try again. This is a little bit finicky, but we will get it right. There we go, wonderful. Now I just need to fill in the rest of the wall as well. Perfect. This looks lovely, but we do need a little bit of railing around them. lovely nice modern windows in my very old-fashioned cabin i like it and again a little slit at the top there's a very small one this time and then i'm going to divide the windows here so it looks a bit nicer it's time to put down the rest of the floor now i did check everything is nice and flat and then we're going to try to put in the fire i don't think the hair fits in here you can of course use it but i'm going to go with the regular campfires because this is a very start of the game build so if you want your hearth in there instead do go for it it will vent out the window as well there is quite a bit of smoke though. i don't really think i need two fires here you can of course leave them or you can open up the window a little bit more and it will take everything out but let's put in some cooking stations there we go lovely it's coming together guys I'm very happy with how this looks so far. It looks nice and tidy. And then we just need to put some rails on the staircases so they look nicer outside as well. And now I am going to do something fun outside. As you can see, I've tried to make this a little bit more, well, wildery. So I've been using the diagonal beams to make it look like there are branches over the roofs. And to be honest, I think this looks really, really cool. I don't know what you think, but it makes me feel like this house fits into the woods a little bit better. I could of course have done this any other way. This was pretty much just what I felt like doing as I was doing it. You can do it any other, you can do a pattern, you can do it huge and like above the building, but I feel like it kind of fits. And I've also done a couple of decorations just on the walls themselves. And you can see them cutting into the roof, which I think looks really cool. 
All right, guys, are you ready to see? This is very, very a standard build, and I'm, but I'm really happy with it. I think it really works. It's supposed to be this small wood cabin that kind of just sits in nature. I've done a little bit of decorating on the inside. Again, this is very basic because I wanted to do this with just base game items while you're in the meadows. You can, of course, not make a table without uh, core, no, not core wood, fine wood. So you will have to proceed a little bit in the game for that. But in general, everything that I've been used to build this, you can do with the base game while you're still in the meadows. You might have to actually collect quite a bit of wood, but I didn't want to use stone for this one because I use stone for everything. And I think this works much better in such a lovely area. No stone, just wood and thatch. I do love this roof. It looks so cool. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Guys, if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload videos. And uh, do let me know down in the comments what you think of this build. I will see you guys next week. So ta-ta for now.